Here is the thrust bearing. It's made up of multiple layers, top foil coated with Teflon, bump foil and spacers, and back foil which supports the structure and where the bumps are spot welded. As always, CAD models and detailed drawings are available in the description. Foil bearings are typically designed to rotate in one direction to maintain the wedge effect required for stable operation. As shown in this model, the radial bearing includes an arrow indicating the intended direction of shaft rotation. When mounting the bearing on the opposite end of the shaft, the geometry must be mirrored. The left and right radial bearings are not identical and must be installed accordingly to maintain proper function. The same principle applies to the thrust bearings. The left and right thrust bearing assemblies are mirror image of each other to ensure correct wedge formation and effective load support in a single rotational direction. So how do they actually work? 